Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. After the disastrous launch of the Sony PS5 Pro, it turns out the sales numbers are officially in and things aren't looking so good. I mean, seriously, after a trailer, they got ratioed into oblivion for an outrageous $700 price tag for this PS5 Pro that didn't even come with a CD, didn't even come with a disk drive, and it doesn't come with a stand. It only comes with one controller, and they want $200 more than what you can afford for an actual regular PS5 out there, especially if you pick one up used with a disk drive anyway a disk drive already in it and of course they offered like two terabytes of storage which considering some of the new call of duty games come out there is like 300 gig that's really not all that much and considering the fact that you can literally buy a terabyte of storage on amazon for like 35 dollars on a thumbstick this is really did not go over very well in any way shape or form with the fans and it looks like it has turned into a disastrous dumpster fire for sony out there completely and totally underwhelming all expectations and turning into one of the biggest flops well i can't say one of the biggest flops Sony's head because we do still have Concord out there floating around which has turned into the biggest video game disaster in history of all time but needless to say this is not what Sony expected in any way shape or form it is almost all the time that these things sell out if not because of scalpers just because so many Sony stands out there absolutely want to go out there and buy the next biggest fattest thing out there and of course they've got the money to do it but it looks like because of the poor economy out there and the absolute outrageous backlash that Sony's gotten for the PlayStation 4 Pro 5 it looks like it's turned into a disaster dumpster fire that's a beautiful thing to see so we're gonna check this article from the gamer.com getting all of the juicy details and see exactly how bad these sales are going but before we do if you do enjoy our content hit that like button share it with all your friends and subscribe or follow if you have not already boys and girls because we are grinding we are growing and i could not do that without every single one of you also leave us a comment in the section down below were you one of those out there that was actually excited about the ps5 pro did you see the price tag and decide to oh no 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 or did you actually go out there and get one because you've got the extra cash to spare and it wasn't that big a deal for you let us know what you think about all that in the comment section down down below also check out the description as well if you'd like to help support our channel and all of our efforts around here to keep bringing you good common sense content all right from the gamer.com and josh colson the ps5 pro is a bestseller on amazon yet it still hasn't sold out anywhere and this is something that all of the industry experts were expecting the scalpers to take them off but hey guess what even the scalpers looked at this and went <laughs> nope no thank you PlayStation continued its rollout for the PS5 Pro last week by making pre-orders available through third-party retailers for the first time. The bad news for PlayStation is, unlike the original version of the console, the Pro has not been selling out. Hmm, what do we want to bet? We're going to get a quarterly report from Sony coming soon that says the PlayStation 5 Pro didn't meet expectations. Hmm, how much more money can Sony burn this year? Let's find out. The good news is that despite that, the PS5 Pro is comfortably the best-selling console on Amazon right now. Well, it's also the brand new one, so duh. Everything else has been out for years, so a lot of people that wanted one had already gone out there and got one or already owned one, so duh. At the time of typing this, the PS5 Pro is the seventh best-selling item in Amazon's video game section. The only six items above it are the PlayStation, <laughs> Xbox, Fortnite, and Roblox gift cards, which, barring the launch of something monumental, keep an eye on those rankings when the Switch 2 is released. Oh, we know exactly what's going to happen to those rankings when the Switch 2 is released, don't we? This thing's going to hit the bottom of the barrel. Tend to be the usual suspects, so obviously nothing new for the gift cards being number one in the video game section. Hey, it's the easiest thing for grandma to buy the kid that she knows is obsessed with video games. Color a shock there. Hell, I wouldn't say no to an Amazon video game gift card. Despite that, the PS5 Pro is only is not only still available to pre-order on Amazon, but it's also in stock just about everywhere. Literally, it hasn't sold out anywhere, even in physical stores, because you can argue that Amazon is obviously going to have a lot more back stock because of all of their warehouses and everything else than what some of these other stores would, would be able to handle inside of their store to be actually handle these massive amounts of pre-orders. But oh, no, no. Not only GameStop, Best Buy, and Walmart, but also PlayStation Direct. It's available even on their website for the hardcore fans out there. No one, well, there obviously is people out there wanting it, but nowhere near the scale that Sony has expected in any way, shape, or form. Particularly surprising that the Pro is still available at the source since for two weeks prior to it arriving on Amazon at all, PlayStation Direct was the only place you could buy the souped-up console. 
even the Sony stands took a look at the economy, took a look at their bank account and went, <laughs> hell no, Sony, you can shove this where the sun don't shine because there is no way we are paying $700 for something for a diskless system that only has two terabytes of hard drive inside it and doesn't even come with a stand to show it as the standing up way that you showed off and you previewed in your own trailer. This is abysmal. Some of you, though, are more than happy spending $700 on the PS5 Pro. The PS5 Pro remaining widely available weeks after launch probably isn't all that surprising to most of you. The reveal of the play not us, definitely not around here. The reveal of the PlayStation's mid-gen refresh generated quite a bit of backlash when it was confirmed to cost $700. And it's funny because there were a lot of people out there that did expect the scalpers to go out there and take this out. I, for one, was not one of those. I thought this price tag was absolutely outrageous. $700 for a console? Why not just spend like a couple, probably not even a couple hundred more bucks and get you a more powerful PC that you can expand and work upon? This is absolutely insane. This puts it out of the realm of the average consumer out there, even at like tax return time or a splurge for Christmas. $700? Yeah, not going to happen. Uh, that's a lot of money for something that doesn't promise that much more than a regular PS5. Twice as much storage, which is nice considering the b- ballooning size of AAA games, like we talked about with Call of Duty at the beginning, and better visuals in select games. Not all games, only in select games. The list of which isn't all that long at the moment, and probably won't grow to be much higher considering the fact that it costs more work to make this stuff compatible for it, and guess what? It's not selling. It's also entirely possible that the PlayStation was simply more more prepared for the pros launch than it was for the regular PS5. Overproducing? No, 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 no. They like the scarcity because they like the second retail market because it drives up the demand for a system. That's why they want that. The scarcity works to PlayStation's and Sony's advantage. They do not want enough. That's why a lot of this stuff happens. Uh, do, 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 do. It's also, yeah, yeah, yeah. The base console, the base console sold out immediately when it was released almost four years ago and stayed that way during the months that followed. I know. I remember going to the stores and you not being able to find one. I never ended up buying one, but I know for a long time they were out of stock absolutely everywhere. And as soon as they came in stock, they were gone. People were waiting at the stores for the shipments to arrive to get these things and poof, they'd be gone overnight. Trust me, scalpers made a lot of money on PS5. So maybe they're there is an argument to be made that Sony was trying to avoid that with this new PlayStation 5 Plus Pro or whatever else they want to call it out there. But maybe they were more prepared, uh, but I highly, highly doubt it. Um, the reality is likely somewhere in the middle. I'm sure PlayStation overprepared for the Pro's arrival, but I also don't think as many people are prepared to pay $700 for it as PlayStation might have hoped, and I completely and totally agree with that one. It's also worth noting that anyone looking to join PlayStation's current generation four years in can do so for half the price of a PS5, even lower than what I thought. The listing for PlayStation's refurbished PS5s went live last week with a digital-only version of the original console priced at just $350. A digital-only version just like what the PS5 Pro is. Half the price. And if you're worried about refurbish, they certify all that stuff. So if anything goes wrong, you send it back to them and they send you another one if they can't fix it. Like literally, that is insane. Hell, 350 bucks. I might pick up one just to use it as a Blu-ray player and to try out some of the new games that may or may not interest me. That's not bad at all. So of course, why would anyone spend $700 on something that doesn't make the value worth it? With that only option for people who don't care about the extra storage and improved but limited visuals, there's no contest. And obviously that is the case. Obviously, Sony's customer base has decided that, guess what? We don't want this. You asked for way too much, and that is a consistent thing that we have seen throughout the video game industry over the last couple of years. They ask way too much for the customers. They're trying to increase the brain, the price of games to outrageous amounts that people aren't going to want to afford, especially at times right now where the economy is tight. They thought what? That they were going to be able to squeeze some more cash out of their whales and their stands well guess what the whales and the stands have been affected too as well and you are now losing money and will continue to lose money on this ps5 pro you have decided to overreach and now you are getting the backlash you deserve and at the end of the day sony your playstation 5 pro has completely and totally blown up in your faces nobody wants this hot garbage and well like i said you'll get exactly what you deserve